What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Music Breakdown with your host, Philip Nathaniel Freeman, where I break down music for your listening pleasure, either vocally or musically. So today I have the honor and privilege of doing an analysis, doing an analysis, there we go, of Sublime's Santeria. This is a very recent performance, and I'm excited to break this down for you. So without further ado, everyone, here we go. Oh, love that tone. Just a little bit of crunch on the tone. <laughs> By the way, this is an analysis video, which means I'm going to be pausing this a lot. If you want to watch the original, it's down in the description. It's up in the card. So check it out. Okay. Otherwise, if you're here for the analysis, awesome. Stick around. But I'm going to be pausing a lot. Here we go. Oh. All right, so right off the bat, uh, his dynamic control is fantastic. That, I don't practice Santeria. It's, I can't even do it very well this morning because I got back from a two and a half mile ruck with my dog. But, you know, excuses, excuses, right? <laughs> but that's just beautiful. And he hangs on the H, too. And I had a million dollars, but I... Very nice. Uh, that's so vibe. Look at that dude. That dude. That is, I want to be that dude when I grow up. That's insane. Look at that Misfits tattoo. Look at the, look at the leopard print. That's <laughs> amazing. To that she's found. Papa, Captain Sancho, and I'd smack her down. Very nice. Okay, the other thing that you'll notice that he's doing, um, which I'll, I'll take back here, is his um, teeth, his facial expression. Sancho, and I'd smack her down. Now, something down. You'll notice that his, his facial expression doesn't change, even though the notes are changing. Watch. That's a very useful technique if you are doing runs, if you are switching between notes uh, at a, a quicker pace. Keeping the vowel modified and consistent can really help with oh moving around uh, the the scale in a in a faster fashion. So that's uh, that's a great showcase of that particular technique. Do you wanna know? Sexy. Oh, my baby, my baby. A little bit of glottal uh, uh, entrance there, just to give it that. Uh, that's very nice. Cool. All right, so. The main takeaways so far of this uh, excellent, excellent performance is uh, the use of his top teeth, the consistency of his vowel modification, and his dynamic control going from, oh, just, it's, you can't even hear the break. It's just so well executed here. Very nice. And he hangs on that dash. Yeah. Oh. Ah, he's doing this little uh, yodel thing. Whether that's a purposeful choice or not, I dig it. And uh, is difficult to execute, actually, at least without sounding like a dying goat like myself. <laughs> Let's go. Notice that even if he, even though he's singing an ooh, he's not going ooh. He's going ooh. That is a great technique for keeping the sound consistent because you'll notice that a lot of beginner singers want to ooh when it's an ooh vowel. Um, very much, so, and that's a great, that works within the context of choirs, but it doesn't work in this scenario most of the time. It's much better to have a relaxed palate and have it go towards the top of the mask rather than pulling it down. But context is key in everything. So let's keep going. Nice shirt too. There's that baby. Yeah. 
nice. A little bit of that. Make it go. It's so good. Um, that so he's adding just a little bit of that uh, in there just to give it some punk hardcore flavor, and then right back to the super soulful sound that he's making. So fantastic. My soul Very nice. You can tell this guy's a really good guitar player because he's got barely any distortion on there. Ooh. Hey. So good. Very nice. And for those of you who are wondering, this is in the key of E major with a lot of very nice chords going on there. Fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah. Super tight band. They sound fantastic. Oh. Ah, interesting. So he's not really moving his mouth a lot here. But he can get away with that because it's very, it's it's not a lot of air pressure. It's um relatively in the middle of his range. Honestly, it's kind of like a ventriloquist type of uh, <laughs> type of technique there, and it can be very useful um, in these situations. So, um, yeah, and it it works, but you have to be careful with that. You can't really uh, go super high with that and uh, have a lot of success uh, most of the time. You can certainly try it. And if it does work for you, go for it. But um, yeah, that's that works when it's uh, in the middle right here with uh, when you don't have a lot of pressure. So that can work. But you have to be of the pressure and usually open up the, the upper vocal tract oh, to get higher notes in a higher chest range uh, dominance there. So um, moving on. Teeth. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, that, that's so good that is so good that's a b4 and he's doing this it's like this nice mixed tone that he's got there just a perfect balance between ta muscles and ct muscles for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about thyroretinoid muscles and, and cricothyroid muscles pulling back and forth it, it, to get that just somewhere in the middle between those two dominance dominances i think that's the right word i don't know maybe it's not even a word between those two uh, muscle groups. So very nice control. Holy Moses. I, I'm, I can't do it. He knows what he's good for him. Run and hide. Run and hide. Oh, dude. Daddy's got a new 45. Adding some of that. Daddy's got a new 45. Yeah. He's also in really good shape. You can tell. <laughs> There's that something for his punk ass. Like that fact that he goes from like Ugh, to that so quickly is so nice. Love it. Sublime is so tight. Oh man, there's my there's who I am. It's hard to see here, but again, he's not going, ooh, he's going, ooh. Oh, solid. What, what a terrific, terrific performance. Oh, yeah. Woo! Baba Booey. Yeah! All right, so let's talk about the main takeaways from this performance. First and foremost, um... It's really special because uh, if you don't know the backstory of Sublime, uh, that the lead singer uh, unfortunately passed away um, very early in life, and uh, and that's his son. His son took up the the helm in recent years and is following in his daddy's footsteps, and that's such a beautiful story. And I, I think it's really he's doing all these songs incredible justice, and he's doing a fantastic job with the with Sublime's repertoire. And uh, kudos to you, dude. Way to go. Um, dynamic control, number one, is uh, the biggest takeaway from this, uh, or the first takeaway, rather. 
And uh, it's something that I want you to note is how well he's using his dynamics and going from a chest dominant voice into a head dominant voice. It's beautifully done. Great vibrato, great soul, lots of consistency in his mouth shape, which really helps with, with note control, with note transition and overall style. You'll notice that he's not going ooh on his ooze. He's keeping it nice and ni nice and top, um, top light rather than top heavy. Ooh, yeah, 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 ooh, yeah, yeah. He's also doing some really cool things with hanging on the H and hanging on the glottals, like ah. just a really great performance overall. Those are the main takeaways: uh, great vowel modification, excellent dynamic control, and a really wonderful blend between uh, his distorted tones, his chest dominant voice, and his head dominant voice, with a mix of those glottal entrances and hanging on certain notes to get that yodel sound really great flavor of vocalization here in this performance and there you go that is the music breakdown of this awesome awesome performance by sublime and uh i hope you found this useful and learned something today the whole reason why i post this content free of charge is because i want everyone to learn and i want to bring my knowledge and expertise as a voice actor and singer to you so that way you can learn more about your own voice and find out whether or not you're able to make these sounds and if it's something that brings you joy and if it does i want to help you do that so if you want to get in touch hit the description down below and the card and also just to let you know i am part of a wonderful team of people involved with elizabeth from the charismatic voice um, we are teaching a demystifying singing group online class and enrollment is open right now. I prepare you for a seven week course. And at the end of that course, you get to sing in front of Elizabeth for an online group session. And I would love to be a part of your vocal journey. Hit the description down below, hit the card up above to get more information on that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Philip Nathaniel Freeman. Thanks for tuning into another music breakdown and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.